Yo! What's happening? <laughs> What's happening, man? Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. I feel so good, man. I feel lovely. My week is completed. The Eagles won 5 and 0 and San Francisco not only won, they kicked that ass. And they 5 and 0. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. And San Francisco, you're my friend. You've been my friend for a while. <laughs> Let me first start off, man. It's all fun and games, bro. It's just sports, man. I mean, it just, these niggas is loud. Let me just get that out the way, man. It's nothing but fun and games, man. So, uh, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 we good. Uh. <laughs> Oh, I love when they lose, man. I just, oh, my gosh, man. This shit, this shit, oh, my gosh. Y'all know y'all finna get y'all ass, like, y'all finna get a whole verbal ass whooping all this week. You know that, right? You know that, right? Y'all know that, don't you? <laughs> I'm just here to prepare you. I'm not going to go as hard on on y'all as what they finna do. They finna tear y'all ass up. <laughs> they finna tear y'all ass up, man. Uh, yeah, you deserve it. This is what you get, man. You know, like, this is the thing, man. Every team do what y'all do. You know, you got a group of fans that love the quarterback more than the team. You got the group of fans that's pessimistic. And you got the overly optimistic fans. All every fan base do the same shit. I, I watch. I watch a lot of them. They all do the same shit. The difference is, you guys are the loudest. It's more y'all. Y'all fans come from across the fucking hell. You could say the world. It's more y'all. But the only difference between y'all and the rest of them, y'all are really delusional. Y'all y'all really are the lose and I really mean it. I ain't trying to be sound like everybody else. Y'all really delusing them. Like for real. I be listening to y'all, man. So when I see y'all lose, especially in this fashion, this shit is funny. Y'all don't know how funny it is. It's so yeah, y'all don't know how funny it is. Cause we sit there like, look at these motherfuckers. We're gonna get them. We're gonna kick their butt. He never did. He did. Brad Brady ain't all that. Y'all was talking mad shit. And I'm like, y'all better do something. And y'all came out looking like this. This is what y'all get every time. Now, this is what shocked me. Some of the DAC lovers, they finally holding him accountable. I can't believe it. That was my whole thing. See, people think I'm a DAC hater. No. I'm a Dak fanboy hater. I can't stand you motherfuckers. I ain't got no problem with Dak. I don't know Dak. I ain't got no problem with that dude, man. I hope he I hope he succeed, my nigga. I, I, I hope he fail because he played for the Cowboys, but I hope he succeed outside of that. Yeah. This motherfucking thing timed out. Uh yeah, like y'all make it, y'all make people you 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 deck any not just that any fanboy of a player y'all make it hard on people to like root for them or even like give them constructive criticism because you guys overdo it you guys overdo it if Dak played bad say he played bad like you make it hard for people to root for people you make it hard for people to take the shit serious like if a nigga play bad, tell him he play. Say you play bad. Nobody saying. Nobody saying pile on the motherfucker. Just say he played bad. Say his fucking name. 
All you got to do is say his fucking name. Say his fucking name. Y'all can't even do that. I, I don't know what was hard for y'all to say. It's just, all you got to do is a deck play bad. And then go to the defense. The defense play bad. The special team play That's Y'all won't even say his motherfucking name. That's what pissed me off. Say his name. Y'all acting like this man, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Pathet it is pathetic. It's pathetic. You taking up for a grown ass man making millions of dollars. He don't give a fuck about you. Y'all taking up for grown ass men like that. That's pathetic. As grown ass men. I can see if you a little teenage, little 13, 14 year old, he your idol and all that shit. I can see that. But y'all niggas be grown as hell protecting these niggas and holding their motherfucking hand. What, fuck, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? What is wrong with y'all? I said, even when I was a teenager, if Kobe played bad, I said he played bad. If Kyrie played bad, he played bad. I'm not going to die. God forbid. Or he ain't going to die. God forbid just because I said he played bad. Y'all act like this man finna die. God forbid. It's, it's really, from the outside looking in, that shit is pathetic. You type of fans are pathetic. You you are pathetic because it's, it's, it's beginning to be, you always say, the haters is, is more than football. To y'all, with, with y'all, it's more, it look like it's more than football. It look like you in love with this motherfucker. What is so hard about saying uh, the motherfucker need to play better or he had a bad game? It's pathetic. You look pathetic. Do you do your family like that? Do you protect them like that? Do you protect God like that when somebody mock him or something? I doubt it, but you quick to protect the damn quarterback that don't even know who the fuck you are. That's pathetic. <laughs> shit, you make people you honest you make people troll and 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 talk shit to y'all, man. Cause you are you it, we all grown, my nigga. It don't take much to say he need to play better, sharpen up on the turnovers or whatever the care, whatever a nigga flaw is. He need to work on his jump shot. It don't take much to say that. It don't take much to say that. It's quite pathetic that some of y'all don't don't even do that. And this motherfucker show you time after time after time that he ain't that dude. How many times this dude got to show y'all that he ain't shit? How many times? How many times this dude got to show y'all when the lights is bright, he ain't going to do right. When the lights is bright, he ain't going to do right. That's his fucking motto. <clears throat> Not just against the 49ers. I heard some of y'all say, he just can't beat the 49ers. No, nigga, he do it all the time when the lights is bright. When the, when the team is down and the lights is bright, he can't get it right. When the team is up, that motherfucker look like Joe Montana. That motherfucker look like Joe Montana when they up by two touchdowns. It's the end of the third quarter, beginning of the fourth. You up by two touchdowns. This motherfucker going to slain that motherfucker. That motherfucker running, scrambling. Do this route. Do this route. Let, let me throw the ball. He going to throw the ball deep. Like, that motherfucker do everything right when they up. When they down, he's trash. So let's do the averages. Good, trash, equals average. <laughs> That's what the fuck he is, average. Don't you ever put him up there with the Mahomes ever again. Don't even put his fucking name in Mahomes uh, uh, again. Him. Josh Allen, I, and, and, and another thing, I, I know you weirdos can't stand. I, what made y'all pick Josh Allen? Y'all pick Josh Allen to pick on. Why, why would you pick Josh Allen? 
I, I, for the love, for the love of me, I don't understand why the hell y'all pick his ass like he a scrub or something. I give you, he he's a uh, he could be reckless, but my nigga, he is not trash. I don't know what the fuck y'all thought of, of, of piling up and, and choosing his ass. Did y'all have a secret meeting? Which quarterback are we gonna pick? You you know you can't pick Mahomes. You know you couldn't pick Herbert at the time because he was young. Let's get Josh Allen. I don't know what the fuck y'all thought about picking Josh Allen. That motherfucker light years ahead of your quarterback. How you going to talk about another quarterback when your quarterback trash? You could have picked Kirk Cousins, Derek Carr. I know why y'all didn't want to pick Derek Carr or Kirk Cousins, because everybody already put him in that mid category. And you didn't want to put him in that mid category. Y'all ain't slick. You're going to pick a, a a quarterback that everybody consider elite and pick on them so your quarter, so you can make it seem like your quarterback is better or up there with him. You a motherfucking lie. You know he ain't better than Josh Allen. You can't fool my... I don't know how that y'all can fool people. You can't fool motherfuckers. You can't fool motherfuckers. Who you fooling? Everybody named Mama know <laughs> Josh Allen is better than Dak. I don't give a fuck if he throw 50 interceptions a season. He's still better than Dak. He throws the ball. He can throw the ball. He can move the chains. He makes big plays. That's what he can do. He's the run game and a motherfucking throwing game. What is you talking about? The only thing he don't do is play defense and kick the ball. And you know not to say Mahomes' name. He can have a bad game or two. He can throw four, five picks in a game. He's established. He's stamped. I don't know how y'all don't understand that shit. He's stamped. He earned that. He earned that. All right? Tom Brady, he had a horrible season last year. He earned that. Seven rings, 10 Super Bowl appearances. I don't give a fuck how he won it. He won it. He earned that. Yo guy ain't earned shit. You can say it's fair or it ain't fair. Cry. Cry. Like y'all tell uh, other fan bases, go root for another team. Go root for another team if you can't handle that. Because that's what it's going to be forever. If a quarterback do a lot, they earn the uh, uh, a couple fuck-ups. That's the way it is. LeBron James can fuck. He can average 12 points uh, 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 this season. God forbid I don't want him to, but he can average 12 points. He earned it. He fucking earned it. Kobe Bryant averaged, what did he average, 17 points per game this last season? He earned it. Michael Jordan, 20 points a game with the Wizards. Didn't make the playoffs. He earned it. Yo, guy ain't earned shit. He can't get out the second round. He can't get out the second round. Come on, man. Are you fucking serious? Listen to yourself. He ain't done shit. And still making the same fucking mistakes. And you up here protecting him like he's a fucking baby. That's pathetic. I ain't never seen no shit like that in my life. Protect another grown-ass man. Like, it's a difference between supporting somebody and protecting them. What the fuck are you protecting them from? Criticism? Tell them stop throwing picks. He got his money. What the fuck are you protecting him for? Uh, uh, from. From and for. Y'all niggas pathetic. 
motherfucker go on uh, every video and 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 every anti dat comment. It just blurred out shit. Cornbread and orange juice. That that that. The fuck is wrong with you? Motherfucker, yeah, it's fans that can't protect this nigga no more, so they just blurt out stupid shit because they know they can't defend them. They can't. They really can't defend them no more. So they just they, they just go on autopilot and just blurt out stupid shit. Let it go. He ain't that guy. Let it go. You can still support him. Ain't nobody saying stop supporting him, but stop protecting him like he a fucking rookie. That's a grown ass man. Motherfucker got outplayed by Brock Purdy again. Dak Prescott played like how Brock Purdy should have played. Based on experience. This dude is undefeated in the uh, he's undefeated in the regular season. This motherfucker looked like an eight-year vet. He looked like he won a championship. He do. He looked like he fresh off a championship. He was tearing y'all ass up. What is that, a bike? What is this nigga on? I know who that is. Yeah, I know who that is. Oh, boy, y'all. And then it, y'all be hurting y'all self, too. Y'all be hurting y'all self. Y'all just be protecting them, protecting them. He, he hurts your heart every fucking time. He hurts your heart every time. And po po y'all protecting them, protecting them. Why? Keep it real. Keep it real. Why? This man showed you time after time he's not that dude. You can't have it both ways. You can't say he's an elite quarterback but need everything perfect for him. That's not an elite quarterback. It don't that, that 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 that's not a top five quarterback. If somebody go down, he can make up for the mistake. I mean, he can make up for the injury. Okay, I could take over from here. I could do this. He can do that. That's what an elite quarterback does. When uh, Kelsey went out today, Mahomes scored a touchdown with Rice. Who the fuck is Rice? When uh, Kelsey. And uh, Chris Jones is out game one against the Lions. They lost by one point. That's an elite quarterback. Lamar Jackson, when he had no weapons, barely had weapons. When it's fucking, I think he had backups and then the defense was injured. He beat Mahomes. Remember that? He beat Mahomes. It was plenty of years well, Lamar Jackson didn't really have nobody. That's an elite quarterback. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, he ain't had no run game. He ain't had no number one wide receiver. He was putting that team on his back getting to the playoffs. That's an elite quarterback. Tom Brady, he ain't had no run game. This nigga was winning. He won, how I many? He won three Super Bowls without Grunk. Come on, man. That's an elite quarterback. He ain't no motherfucking elite quarterback. Like, chill with that shit, man. <clears throat> I don't know what I don't know where y'all get that from. I don't know who told y'all that shit. But uh that shit crazy, bro. I, I don't I don't know. Yeah, man, y'all niggas, man. Y'all got a long <laughs> season, man. Y'all got a long season, bro. Y'all got a long season. And, and y'all play. Y'all play. The Chargers next. Y'all play the Chargers next.
Y'all play Kelly Moore next. And uh what's his name? Justin Herbert, the the the, the uh the other guy that y'all hate on. Y'all hate on every quarterback that's considered better than your quarterback. And then y'all say hate. Everybody watch the damn games, man. Everybody watch the damn games. These motherfuckers act like we sit here with no cable and, and, and then just immediately tune into ESPN the next morning. We all watch the games. We know who's great. We know who's good. We know who trash. Like, come on. We're not stupid. Come on, my nigga. Y'all niggas is, y'all niggas is, I don't know if y'all for real, but if y'all for real, y'all pathetic. My nigga, you know Mahomes and Josh Allen better than fucking Dak. Stop being a homo. Come on, man. No, I'm not I'm not saying anything about the defense. The defense been carrying y'all ass for the last three years. Fuck about that shit. That was bad, yeah. But shit. They earned it. <laughs> this was this was payback from the last two playoff games. That y'all lost to San Fran. They said, man, fuck this shit, nigga. You can score. Go ahead. Get past this. You can score. They tired of putting that motherfucking team on their back, man. Y'all niggas scored 10 points. Y'all scored 10 points, bro. They tired of putting the team on their back, bro. They is. They tired of putting the team on their back. Scored 10 points. What's y'all average against San Francisco anyway? 17, 16 or some shit. Come on, man. Man, they said, man, fuck this shit. <laughs> I don't blame them. Y'all offense. What's the point of using Brandon Cooks if you're not going to use him? I mean, what's the point of bringing him in if you ain't going to use him? He's a wide out. One of the fastest dudes in the league, and y'all don't even use him right. Y'all using this nigga as a, as a running back. Come on, man. Mm -mm -mm. It don't. It, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Like, but we the haters. The haters been right for eight years, man. And shit, really. The, the the older haters been right for 27, 28 years. <laughs> we been right for eight. We still haters. You got to give us another name by now, man. We've been right too much. You got to call us something else. Because we've been, it sounds like y'all should be labeled the haters. Because it sounds like y'all hate y'all team, nigga. You know if you overlove something and you and you, and you you uh, dismiss the flaws of a team, that's fucking up the team too. Being super optimistic all the time doesn't help. You 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 know that's actually worse than the hater because at least the hater's gonna point out your flaws. The the fake optimistic motherfucker don't even do that. Oh, everything's fine, fine. Don't say anything bad. Everything's fine, bro. That's the worst type of friend you can have. You up here fucking up and shit. You ain't got no jumper. Your handles trash. Oh, he cold. He cold, nigga. He finna get his ass whooped. Y'all the worst type of fans. Shouldn't do that. Be real. <laughs> Be real. Come on, man. If your quarterback is trash or mid or ever, say it. If the team ain't played well, say it. Ain't gonna hurt. Say it. All this. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Forget the haters. Yeah, that shit was whack as hell. Lame ass niggas. Oh, my weekend was. Oh, no, nah, that was something else. I thought, that, I thought it was app that asked me what was my weekend. I'm going to say, excellent. <laughs> Excelente. Real talk. Be real, man. All that optimistic, happy go lucky ass shit. I can't stand that shit. 
I can't stand that shit. Yeah, yeah. We're the best, yeah. Man, we need to work on our run game. No, you don't. You're a hater. Go move for another team. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Oh, quit whining. Quit quitting. Quit whining. You're a quitter. You a bitch. That's what you is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go Cowboys. Yeah. Man, I don't, uh, man, Dad need to play better. Oh, you're a quitter. You're a whining. Quit whining. Yeah. That's going to be fine. That's going to be fine. Four interceptions. Oh, he's going to be all right. He's going to be all right. Man, get the fuck out the car. You're going to walk home tonight. I'm sick of your shit. Get the fuck out the car. Motherfucker like that, you gotta keep that nigga out the car. Get the fuck out the car. For real. Get the fuck out and stay out the car. Bro, the hater. Hey, hater, come here, bro. Shit. Get this motherfucker out the car. <laughs> oh, I'm done for the day, man. Beautiful, beautiful weekend. Beautiful. So. I will talk to you guys later. Love y'all. Deuces.